The au pairs are, are constantly surprising me. It's just a good sharing experience and it's also a bonding experience for the group. My name is Kate Farron. I'm the Participant Services Manager at InterExchange Au Pair USA. And my primary responsibilities are to prepare the au pairs for their arrival, to meet them and walk them through orientation, and to support them throughout their year. Before they arrive, they receive a packet in the mail and a series of emails preparing them for their arrival to New York City. When they arrive to New York City, I meet them in the lobby of the hotel and they are with us through orientation. We have au pairs coming in from over 40 different countries. Our primary countries are in Western Europe and South America. They learn about U.S. culture from the first moment that they step off the plane. We want to talk a lot about things that they'll experience from day one, um, so basic things about personal space and ownership and tipping culture and how to meet and greet. We have an English-only policy at orientation and training, so a great benefit for the au pairs is they have four full days of speaking only in English during orientation to prepare them for the full immersion when they arrive to the family's home. Well, they all come with a background and experience in childcare. All of them have to have at least 200 hours of childcare experience. Our average hour range of experience is about 1,000 to 2,000 hours. Our primary focus is getting them ready to care for children in an American household. So we talk a lot about the cultural experience and the adaptation that they're going to experience moving into an American home. We dedicate a full day of orientation and training to put towards CPR, first aid, and basic health and safety. We have a certified trainer come in and work hands-on with the au pairs, and they practice all sorts of techniques on adults, children, and infants. Our top priority is safety. We incorporate that into all of our lectures, our group work. My favorite part of orientation is the very last couple of hours on the second day, where the au pairs come to the front of the room and present to us um, some things that they've learned over the past few days. One of the great things about our orientation program is that it takes place in Midtown Manhattan. Um, that is an extra special bonus for the au pairs. They are right in the center of the center of the city. So right outside their door, they can see the Empire State Building, and they're about a 10 minute walk from Times Square. They really enjoy going out um, with the other au pairs from the program. They're meeting people from all over the world. Sometimes this might be the first time that they're in an all international environment. So they're already getting not only a U.S. cultural exchange, but a cultural exchange with new friends that they've met from all over the globe. We have over 20 years of experience matching host families with au pairs, and what we've found is it's more important to match on the basis of personality than any particular characteristics that the au pair might have. As the au pair is in a unique situation, they are living and working with their host family and with them 24 hours a day, we want to make sure that they get along on a personal level. Of course, host families have their preferences and we welcome that, but we really stress that they have to get along well with the au pair's people as they'll have this special relationship and hopefully this relationship will last for the rest of their lives. We also provide additional training uh, throughout the year. It is a requirement that every host family have a local coordinator within an hour's drive. So we do have pockets, or we call them clusters, of au pairs and host families around a central area. Their local coordinator will be in contact with them within the first 48 hours of their arrival, and we'll have training sessions just to refresh some of the things that they learned at orientation. An important part of orientation is stressing the level of support that InterExchange is prepared to provide to the au pairs. Every one of our New York staff has studied and lived and worked abroad, so they're always welcome to call or email us with any questions or concerns that they have.